Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of my OC clans. In this part, I will be designing and talking about all the cats from Sun Clan, my main clan. Starting with the leader, Ember Star. Also, this cat is my cat. Ember Star is a great leader. In most of the cat's eyes, he is the definition of good cat. He's kind, affable, and just puts everyone in a good mood. However, sometimes his judgment can cloud his vision, and he can go a little bonkers. However, most of the time, he apologizes for it, and that's just what makes every cat love him so much. He is good friends with most of the cats in his clan, which makes sense, as he is the leader. But he's just, I don't know, I really love him as a cat and character. Ember Star was born a little bit after Sun Clan was formed, but not the second it was formed, so he's not that old. He's definitely not as old as uh, Rose Petal in the corner over here. <laughs> Anyways, here's the finished Ember Star. Cat we have is the deputy, Snaptooth. Snaptooth was originally called Darkheart, but I didn't like the name because it sounded too cruel, honestly. So. I changed it to Snaptooth and gave him a little bit of an overbite and a grumpy looking face, but I like his new design a lot better than his old, just black cat design. He's, uh, he's quite a stern warrior, and that's what makes him a good deputy, because he's not easy to, um, not easy to be pushed around. He's just, in most cat's eyes, he's a mean deputy. But when you really get him to open up, he's pretty sweet. He currently does not have any mates or kits in any of the clans because he thinks his clan is way too important for him to be going off with the family. But he's a he's an overall great deputy. Next cat we have is Silent Whisper, the medicine cat. Um I have no idea where I was going with this drawing. I originally wanted her to be backwards and looking over her shoulder. And then I changed it to her facing forwards, and I don't know why her ear is so big, but anyways. She's she's extremely good at her job. She knows literally every herb in the forest. She knows where all of the herbs grow. She's also a great cat to talk to whenever you feel down. And a lot of cats consider her a secondary mother figure. Uh, she is loved by most of the cats in every clan, including the medicine cats and the other clans. She has a great bond with almost everyone. She's super sweet. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much Silent Whisper. She She's patient and yeah. Well, here's her. Oh, Auburn Tail. Uh, he's, a, he's a semi background character, but he has a lot more dialogue than the rest of the characters in the clan. But He's he's a great mentor. He has had like multiple apprentices and a lot of cats wonder why he hasn't been made the deputy and have Snaptooth like step down from the position. But he he's perfectly okay with being a warrior. He's super sweet and him and his mate Honeyheart are incredible friends with almost everyone, especially Ember Star. Uh, and it does help that Honeyheart is literally Ember Star's uh, sister. But anyways, for the design choices, I really like the dorsal fur I gave him. I don't know why that popped into my head, um, but I just really like it. Um, and here he is. He's probably my favorite cat that I've designed. Fishclaw. Don't ask me where the name came from. I just named him Fishclaw. He's a sour and stubborn Tom. He has had an apprentice before, but he wasn't very good at mentoring, so he's not very often given apprentices. He's also never given the opportunity to lead a patrol, because Snaptooth knows very well that if he lets this Tom lead a patrol, then he might like lead an unnecessary battle on Storm Clan or Shore Clan, because they always seem to get on each other's nerves. He's irritated at everything, but like his brother, Snaptooth, 
He's also an amazing friend if you can really get close to him, but he's not very good at making friends, so that doesn't ever happen. Next up is Honeyheart. She's mentioned before as the maid of Auburn Tale, and the two do have a litter of kits, but I'm not going to say their names just yet because I might make a like a an audiobook of me reading Ivy Star's new book. I haven't made it yet, but anyways, back to Honeyheart. As mentioned before, she is kin of Ember Star, and she's a very sweet cat, and she's always wanted kits of her own, but she never really got the chance because she's been so busy with her warrior duties. But yeah, I like her a lot. She's just more of a background character than she is a main character. Um, yeah. Next cat is Stone Pelt. He actually gets a lot more um, lines in the books because he gets like half a chapter to himself because, um, spoiler alert, his mate, um, Leaf flight dies really early on in the book and he like literally screams for like 12 years straight (laughs) but i don't really like his design a lot i don't know where i was going with it but um he's a good cat uh he's very old too like he's not that old he's not a lot older than his mate leaf flight but he's like a senior warrior Leaf Flight Ma Girl. I don't know why I named her that, but she was the first mentor of Ivy Paw. Uh, or Ivy Pool. Or, no, <laughs> or Ivy Wish. Whatever you want to call her. You can call her whatever. You can call her Ivy. I don't care. Anyways. Um, but she's a very sweet cat. She's very stern when it comes to her apprentices. Uh, she's mentored like three or four, I think. She has mentored... Uh, Fern Call, um, and Ivy Paw, and there was one other I can't remember, but, uh, she's a very sweet cat, she is, she's an, an amazing mentor, she also has kits of her own, Mist Kit, Night Kit, and Day Kit, uh, they're all, uh, warriors by the time the book ends, but whenever it does start, they are apprentices, and she, I just love her so much. This next cat is Fern Call. I did mention her as the apprentice of Leaf Flight. I love her design. I love what I did with her. Um, she's a very major background character, so I don't have much to say about her, but um, I'm going to give her personality now, and I'm going to say that she's a very sweet and loving cat. But um, she's also she has her rebellious streak, so yeah. Rockbelly is the sibling of Fern Call. And he has, like, literally the same personality as Fishclaw. It doesn't help that he was mentored by Fishclaw. But he's very rude and he often hunts by himself. Again, he is a very big background character, so I don't have a lot to say about him. But there, there's, there's Rockbelly. Thornheart. 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 Everyone loves Thornheart. He is the father of Weaselfoot and the mate of Dawnface. Um, he is very bouncy as depicted in this little sketch here. He is very bubbly. He, he's very sweet to most of the cats. Uh, Sun Clan is like the Thunder Clan of my clan. They are really nice to everyone, uh, but they also have their rude side. So he's brown tabby. He looks exactly like his son Weaselfoot. Um, and he actually got his scar on his face, and he lost his tail because of a fox that was attacking the nursery while Dawnface was still expectant with his kits, and he literally sacrificed his life. He threw himself in front of the fox, um, that was at the nursery, and he could have died, but he didn't, and he's alive, and that's, 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 that's him. This is Dawnface and her three kits. Well, her two kits and her adopted kit, but I'll get into that later. So this is a rather long speed paint because I have to talk about four cats in this one, so bear with me here. Dawnface is a sweet and motherly cat. 
like most of the she cats in this clan. Um, <laughs> wow, I'm so original. But um, when she was an apprentice, she was best friends with a Storm Clan cat. Uh, and the Storm Clan cat ended up dying really early on. And it kind of made her like go deeper into her shell. And she didn't really like anybody after that until she met Thornpaw. Thornpaw was originally a rogue, but he joined with his family and his siblings, Ferncall and Rockbelly, uh, and their, their parents who early on died. So, yeah. But she met him and he literally, like, got her to come out of his shell or her shell. And they, she's just been probably the sweetest cat that everyone has ever met ever since. Weasel Kit is the little brown tabby poking at his mother's side. He is a nuisance <laughs> uh, as a kit, but as he grows, he becomes an anxious boy. And he actually has a very big crush on Ivy Paw, or Ivy Wish. Uh, Spark Kit, later known as Sparkfire is she gets carried off as a kit, like literally the day of her apprentice ceremony. She gets carried off by a hawk and dropped in Storm Clan's territory. She grows up there, but then in a battle, she uh, she recognizes her brother in the bushes and realizes this isn't her clan. So she like immediately runs back and she joins Sun Clan again. She's actually this, the leader after Tawny Star. She's very old at that time, though. The little gray kit at her side, uh, Dawnface's side, is Moon Kit. She's later known as Moon Dust, and she lived a very active and exciting life compared to some of the cats. So she was found on the border two moons before Ivy Kit's birth. So she is a moon younger than Weaselfoot and Sparkfire, but she is also a moon or two moons older than Ivy Kit and her family. So she is so she like she, when she became an apprentice, she got really close with Ivy Paw. She got really close with Ivy Paw. And whenever she came, became a warrior, she was sent into battle really early. Um, and this is the part where it gets juicy, so bear with me here. She was thrown off a cliff by Foxtail. And um, a lot of cats assumed that she was dead because nobody survives that far of a fall. She wasn't dead, and she met up with a cat named Arugula, who like literally saved her life. Um, she took care of her while she was recovering from the trauma that falling into the gorge gave her. Um, nobody likes that, but when she returned, she lived a long, happy life and had kits with a cat named Darktail, who I also forgot to draw! <laughs> Heatherleap is getting her own drawing, um, because she is a very major character. She is the mate of Emberstar and the mother of the main character, Ivy Wish. She is very sweet and loving and motherly, blah, 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 <laughs> like all of the she-cats in this clan. But um, she grew up with Amberstar, and she wanted to have another litter of kits, but she never got to because Amberstar was so busy with leader duties. And yeah, I she's like a Siamese color point sort of thing. I really like her. She was actually, like, the second cat I ever designed in Sun Clan ever. So, yeah. There's, uh, there's Heatherleap. And finally, the main three, Tawny Kit, Ivy Kit, and Sand Kit. Tawny Kit is a tortoiseshell slash calico cat who has appeared multiple times on my channel. Um, Sand Kit has appeared zero times on my channel, and Ivy Wish, uh, she's just the main character here. So, Sand Kit is the little spunky kit. She's, she's very rude to everyone, but she's, she's pretty sweet. 
Uh, she just wants to have a good time, and she wants to fight all the time. And Tawny Kid is a little concerned of everything. She's based off of a friend, like I said before. And she's made some pretty big mistakes in her life. Ivy Kit. I'm just going to say her personality because her story is way too long for me to say. So, Ivy Kit is a very spunky, wannabe first in everything. Just let me do it. I don't care about what the instructions are. Let me wing it. Let me do whatever I want, kind of cat. Rose Petal. Rose Petal is somehow, don't ask me how, the mother of Dawn Face. She is the oldest cat in the clan, and it's even older than Sunstar herself. She is very respected in most of the clans. She's known by literally every cat in all of the clans, except for Taiga Clan and Shore, uh, Shore Clan. But I don't know where I was going with her design. I don't like it that much, but I tolerate it. And she's just, uh, she's an amazing storyteller, and she's just a great cat. Alright, now that that's over, I just want to let you know that none of that was scripted. Yay! <laughs> um, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed. This took a very long time to make, and the rest of the parts probably won't be out for a while. So bear with me here. Um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Grape out!